On this question, it asks us to circle the insoluble compounds and determine the oxidation number of the underlying element. So for oxidation numbers, our ONs, the underlined element is not following the rules, so everything else has to. So for this first one of AGCl, the chloride has a plus one based on its charge. Nope, it has minus one. So therefore the AG is plus one. So that would be our value. For SROH2, we know that the O is minus two, the hydrogen is plus one. And so we have minus two plus one. This gives us a total of negative two. Therefore, the strontium has to be plus two. And for oxygen and hydrogen, we can also use the charge of the polyatomic. So for PbNO3, two minus, so the lead, NO3, two. So for this, we need to remember that the nitrogen in this case is the cation, so it's functioning as the cation. So the nitrogens are both plus three, and we have six oxygen, so we have minus two times six, so we have negative 12 and plus six. Add those together, and this tells us that the lead here is plus six. So this is the oxidation number. It is different than the charge. So it's okay that they don't add up. So then over here on the other side, it also asks us to circle the insoluble compounds. If you look at your solubility table, you can see that chloride ions, when connected to silver, are insoluble. All nitrates are soluble, and hydroxides, when connected with strontium, also insoluble. So those are the ones that you're looking to find.